I have been wanting to make this video since 8 o'clock this morning, and it is now 3 in the afternoon. I've been impatiently waiting all day just to make this video. So, I just wanted to um, talk about my initial thoughts on this week's roadmap, because it is a major one. So, um, so I'm before I get into the main point I want to talk about in this video, I'm just going to go over some more, a couple other major things that were announced on the roadmap. So, the first thing is... The Mybin branch for Riza Dresden is getting re-added. So I'm really excited for this because obviously lots of us were disappointed that the branch lines got removed, but it was simply just because Dovetail didn't have enough time. And now that Riza Dresden's coming out this Thursday, um, Dovetail have gone back to work on the branch line and it's going to be re-added soon, so that's really exciting. So hopefully we can also see the other branch line come back soon. So this is some really major news. And looking at some of the pictures we've seen for the branch line, it looks really good. I'm really excited for this. Another major one is that the 1938 tube stock has moved up to upcoming. So that means that our next Loco DLC is most likely going to be the 38 tube stock by Rivet. Um, I don't think I'm going to be getting it. I mean, maybe because I have Isle of Wight, but we'll see. Maybe. But still, this is cool. And we're probably also going to see the G6 by TSG fairly soon as well. So we got a couple upcoming Loco DLCs, which is exciting. Okay, now let's talk about what I wanted to talk about in this video. And that is two new routes have been added to the roadmap. And these are... And I was in complete disbelief when I saw this. So we are getting Sherman Hill with the SD70 ACE and Horseshoe Curve with the ES44 AC and the GP30-2. Wow. We are getting two of the most infamous U.S. freight routes in the country. I am super excited for both these routes. Now, unlike... The previous TSW routes, we freight routes we've gone, such as Sand Patch Grade, Clinchfield, and King Creeks, like they're not really that recognized or just well known. So it's like they were just they were all just fairly underwhelming routes. But with Horseshoe Curve and Sherman Hill, these are two of the most popular U.S. freight routes, at least even within like TS. And and so this so this is a much bigger deal. And we're not getting any reused locomotives, except, I guess, the GP38-2, but honestly, I don't care, because Sherman Hill, we're getting the SD70 AC, which I've been wanting to see this loco come to the game for a super long time, and I'm really happy to finally see it come to the game. And now, the thing that kind of baffles me, though, is we're only getting the SD70 ACE, so... Obviously, it's going to be more focused around mainline freight, but you'd think that they'd also try to, um, like, add some sort of diversity. You want know quickly? I'm going to quickly search up, like, what came with the Sherman Hill for TS, and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so I just looked up um, the rolling stock that came with um, Sherman Hill for TS, and it says that it comes with with the ES44 AC, the SD70M, the SD40-2, and the SW10. So, yeah, it is kind of bad that we're only getting one locomotive because I hardly doubt the SD70 ACE does shunting. I feel, I mean, Dovetail can easily layer the SD40-2 from Cane Creek onto Sherman Hill. That is very likely, and they're probably going to also add the AC4400. But other than that, there really isn't much. Um, I really, I really wish they could add like the ES44. Like they could like possibly like modify the ES44 from Horseshoe Curve and put it on onto um, Sherman Hill. I think that would be kind of cool. I really wish they could have added the SD70M, but they could always add that as a logo DLC. Um, and the SW10, I think that could most certainly become a logo DLC. So. Um, as much as I'm happy that the SD70 AC is coming to Sherman Hill, I just wish there was more variety. Like, I want to be able to do some shunting and some, like, local trains, but we'll, we'll see what happens. And, um, and then with Horseshoe Curve, we're getting, we're finally getting the Jivo, which a lot of people really were not a, 
happy with King Creek because we were only getting the AC4400 and it was basically it was basically just a reskin of the CSX one. So it it people were just tired of the AC4400. So I'm really happy we're getting the Jivo since those are the more modern those are the most modern U.S. freight locomotives and are most commonly seen on almost any operator, so I'm really happy to see that. Now, I'm not fully sure what Dovetail is going to be using with the GP38 because from what I've heard, um, Jeeps are not really used for mainline freight. Maybe there's like a yard, so I'm because I need to research horseshoe curve a bit. I'm guessing there's some sort of yard along the line that maybe the GP3 could be doing some shunting in. Maybe they could be doing some helper services, maybe. That's most certainly possible. They could be doing some light loco moves. But I just don't think they're going to be doing any act like that many actual mainline freight because, it's like, even with Sandpatch Grade, there's only a couple, like, GP38 services that actually do mainline freight. So, besides that, I'm really excited to see both of these routes. And the ironic part is that these both of these routes were in my route suggestion poll, and a couple people were voting for both these routes. So now, because these routes were added, I'm going to have to remove them, because now we're getting them. So that's really exciting. Um, now, my only disappointment is that there's no American passenger routes, which... It really is a bummer in my opinion just because I, I prefer American Passenger over American Freight. But at least it's being made up with two super popular American Freight routes. So that I think definitely makes up for it. But it's possible Dovetail may announce another American Passenger route. Maybe it's like maybe there is one that's currently in planning but we just don't know about it yet. Like they haven't they're not 100% sure yet. And like, it's like basically, um, it's like they wait because I think what they said in the roadmap is that they want to, they want to announce routes when like it's in the initial planning. So like, or like initial production, like stuff like, so like once like dovetails, like a basic idea of what they're going to actually do. So hopefully we see an American passenger around the roadmap. Cause I, cause having just American freight is would be kind of bad because yes we obviously just got NEC but but if we're if we're gonna have to wait till the next core update to get another American passenger route that's gonna be pretty disappointing because I love American passenger anyways um so yeah this is a this is still a really major announcement I'm super excited to see these routes come now when these are gonna be coming I have no clue I'm guessing it's gonna be a while until we see horseshoe curve since since it took forever for King Creek to come out, and um, I mean, I could, I'm m most likely Sherman Hill is going to be coming first of these two routes. So with these two routes also being added to the roadmap, that means most likely within the next coming roadmaps, we're going to see more routes get added. So I can most certainly see stuff coming from the UK, Germany, and maybe we'll see a couple new countries or maybe new routes from some other countries that aren't just the US, Germany, and, and the UK. So I'd love to see some more French routes. Maybe another Swiss route would be cool. Um, I'd love to see something in Scotland, even though it's basically just the UK. I'm very excited to see what the, the coming roadmaps are gonna have on them. I think it's gonna be pretty busy and stuff. Um, okay, so because uh, we're getting these Sherman Hill and Horseshoe Curve, as soon as I'm, I'm done uploading this video, I, me and Mojo will be working on a what you need to know about these two routes. So we're going to, um, we're going to be talking about these routes because my friend owns Sherman Hill and he doesn't have Horseshoe Curve, but he has a lot of knowledge on it. So we're going to be asking him like lots of questions and stuff. And I want to educate you guys on these routes because a lot of people are thinking these are just typical American freight routes, which in a way they are, but they have some unique qualities to them. So we're going to talk, we're, we're going to get on to that video as soon as possible. And I, 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 I think 
I could get it out as soon as Thursday, just depending on how much time I have. So yeah, if you're excited to see me make these this, the, this video talking about what you need to know about these routes, please like, um, consider subscribing to the channel um, so you can get notified when it releases. And yeah, um, I thank you all for watching this video, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care, guys.